Now, as we continue to celebrate Black History Month, we're going to bring you the story of a woman who made history becoming the first African American to graduate from UGA. Mary Frances Early, she actually paved the way for countless students here in Georgia, and today, the university honoring her in a huge way by naming the College of Education after her. 11 Alive's Latasha Gibbons was in Athens for that ceremony. Well, today was a wonderful ceremony that drew hundreds from around the state, including Governor Kemp and Georgia's First Lady. The Board of Regents approved the name change back in October, but today, Mary Frances Early got to see her legacy sealed in Georgia history. Mary Frances Early is seeing for the first time a college that now bears her name. It's mind boggling. Nothing that I could ever ha have imagined. Early was the first African American to graduate from the University of Georgia back in 1962, earning a master's degree in music education. She then received a specialist in education degree in 1967. Not only was she a trailblazer at UGA, but she went on to have a major impact on Georgia schools. She was the first African American president of the Georgia Music Educators Association in 1981 and served as music director for the entire Atlanta public school system. She also taught at Morehouse College and Spelman College and served as the chair of the music department at Clark Atlanta University. When I walked in down here, it just, I mean, I couldn't help but shed tears. Oh, wow. That was, yeah. With her family by her side, she was given a tour of the places around the College of Education that share parts of her life. I'm so happy to have them share this moment with me. Quotes posted on walls, pictures on digital billboards, and speeches she's given over the years are now in full view to inspire generations to come. This naming, I think, for the entire campus and for our college um, really speaks volumes about our commitment to not only diversifying our student faculty and staff population, <laughs> but to making sure that everybody has opportunities to thrive. After the morning tour, a ceremony was held celebrating the newly named Mary Frances Early College of Education. Choices to make. My choice was not the easy road or the well-known road, the road less traveled by, because I saw a need to do something, as has been said. And you can find the full ceremony on our website at 11alive.com. All right, thanks a lot, Natasha. For more stories like this, folks, and a chance to hear from other Atlanta pioneers, be sure to watch our Black History Month special. It's called Today's Pioneers, and it's going to air Saturday night at 7 p.m. right here on 11 Alive.